We are here for day of service to commemorate that and build on his dream. Um, part of what we're working on here is working on equity issues, equality issues, um, and addressing social determinants of health. So what we're gonna be working on today is the Community Open Space Project. It is part of the overall First Choice Health and Wellness Campus development. Uh, and what that is, is a project that is offering places, spaces, um, for community gatherings, safe places. Um, the South Valley, as it is, is not really pedestrian friendly. So we have partnered with uh, Bernalillo County, National Park Service um, on community walking trails. And this space is also so that we can build and or rebuild the place connection, the food land connection, uh, have opportunity to access healthy, locally grown, organic, pesticide and chemical free foods. Um, and also there's economic opportunities that will be built around this project. So I would like to thank Bernalillo County, Rocky Mountain Youth Corps, Fish and Wildlife, National Park Service, New Mexico State Forestry, Healthy Here New Mexico, Center for Disease Controls and Prevention. Without their partnership, their help, none of this would be possible. And to let you know, you may be asking yourself, why is a health clinic, and we're in our 46th year now of serving the marginalized and underserved communities, why would a health clinic be leading a development project? And that is because we have medically done a really good job of treating illnesses and, and injuries of the communities that we serve. But community health and wellness is still lacking. And health and wellness is much more whether than you're sick or well, injured or not. It's having access to economic opportunities, it's having access to the outdoors. It's having access to healthy food. It's having access to resources. Um, so within that, this is one of the resources that we are partnering on for the benefit of the community.